Hello everyone and welcome to Killing Floor 3. It's in window mode because I want you to see hardware usage on the left side. This is a quick video showing you how to improve performance, namely the CPU hawking. As you can see the CPU usage is pretty high even when I'm doing nothing and I have no clue what it's doing. I mean a little bit is also because I'm recording so that like spends a little bit CPU and about graphics card without recording it's it's a lot lower than that as you can see the power the wattage is right now 230 without recording it's around like 120 or something like this I don't know why it eats so much power when I'm recording but anyway about the CPU it was constantly under 100% load and I started messing with the settings and I found some stuff that reduces it significantly. So the biggest CPU hawk is the NVIDIA Reflex. It's supposed to make it more responsive, the input lag and stuff, but I don't see any difference. However, check the CPU usage as soon as I put it enabled. There you go. Almost 100%. And if I put it on boost, I don't even have to save the settings because it already affects it, as you can see. Look at the CPU. That's just hogging it 100% on some reason. And if I turn it to disable, you can also see the CPU uh, power in the watts. It's almost 60. And if I turn it off again, it's going to drop any second. There you go, it's going down now. And the wattage is also dropping, as you can see. So... And the other two uh, settings are the, these things in here, reflections and illumination. This is basically ray tracing, this lumen thing. I'll show you with and without. I'll take two screenshots. Uh, let's get this angle in here, like this. I'll save the screenshot and now I will um, change the settings. Excuse me, wrong place. I'll change it to uh, lumen and lumen save. And as you can see, it's a little bit darker but personally I don't like it I mean it, it's ray tracing like in real life you know the particles bouncing off each other and lighting the, uh, different areas but if you look at the you know the darkness level in the game you need the flashlight on most of the maps anyway not like in here but if you want to see the you know the sets and stuff that are coming from you know dark areas then you really want to use the flashlight to properly you know see them so it's kind of dark as it is, so I don't see any, you know, reason why you would want it. As you can see, the CPU is already creeping up. And also the um, graphics card usage, I mean, look how high that went. And let's change this back off. I don't like this at all. I didn't take the second screenshot, but whatever. Okay. And, well, you can see clearly the difference. I take a screenshot here. And as you can see, the power usage on the graphics card and um, general GPU usage also went down a lot. So if you have any performance issues, these are the free settings that are seriously hogging your resources. And if you want to fine-tune the graphics a little bit better, not to fry your graphics card, then I recommend uh, turning shadows on low. I don't see any difference at all between the shadows. I don't know what it even changes. Reflection is also not necessary. And view distance, I haven't had any issues with low at all. I mean, if you look in here, I mean, what is what is there to really, you know, even render? The distance isn't even that great. Guess the light on the VTOL, see how the light starts to reflect. But that's so far away, this is fast-paced game, you know. You don't really even shoot that far, maybe with a sniper or something. But that's like pff, one out of like 50 chances where you get to even shoot that far. The maps don't even, you know have this long, you know, distances. I don't even see any difference in shadow quality. It looks same to me, if you ask me. It looks fine. Let's turn it back um, on low. As you can see, the graphics got spikes a little bit, but not by much. And I don't see any visual change at all. So maybe it's just for the sets or players? And finally, there is one option outside the game that sh you should also check and also the killing floor free devs they also recommend changing that and here's the screenshot uh, comparison for you this is the lumen uh, off and this is the lumen on see you can see the clear difference between the lighting but i kind of like this one more it's it's like not as clear i mean it's clear but this one is dark and then let's take a look at the shadows then 
Wow, is that really a change between low and ultra? This is low, this is ultra. Low, ultra. Wow, that's a huge change. <laughs> what is this nonsense? And finally, one change in NVIDIA control panel. If you have NVIDIA, if you have AMD, then I don't know where those settings are, but it has the same thing. In NVIDIA, you just right click on the desktop and NVIDIA control panel. That's all you need to do. And then this setting in here, shader cache uh, size, they recommend changing it to uh, driver default, which would be 10 gigabytes, I think. It defaults to whatever uh, amount of uh, video RAM you have in your graphics card. But I noticed it was maxed out, so I changed it to 100. I haven't uh, played the game yet, but it should make a difference. For example, this here is how much it currently takes. It's this TX cache. And usually it puts it somewhere in your users. And I don't like to have it on my primary drive at all. So I made the folder junction thing, the symbolic link to link it onto another drive. So it can eat all the space there as it wants, you know. But anyway, if you have issues with that, then change that to like 100 gigabytes and see if that improves anything. That should change, you know, that it doesn't cache the textures anymore or compile them, you know, or whatever you call it. It's like when you start the game up the first time, it's going to take a while to cache the textures or compile them or whatever it's doing. So if that's an issue, change it to 100 gigabytes, restart the game, obviously. I mean, close the game, change it and then uh, start the game again and see if it helps. So for me, with these kind of settings, I got my CPU usage down below like a constant hogging level, so it did help a lot. So test it out, see if it helps, and I'll see you next time.